Hi folks, you know the drill, that when the band-aid comes off, the truth comes out. And just so you know, behind me, I don't know if you ever would notice it, but this is a picture of the Temple Mount and the, the base of Migdash is in that picture with no other structures up there. And above it, if you see, is a, a blank spot. We don't paint or we leave something unfinished in our house uh, of course, as in a memory of this, just like we do at weddings when we smash a glass. If you're wondering why we smash a glass and people smash a plate, is because we are not truly happy until that building is there. Okay, I'm going to read an article now of the Credo of the Hilltop Youth, and I'm just going to blast through it, and we'll see how much time I have in the video. I would like to make some comments on it as well, but it's an article by Mayor David Ettinger, regarding the you know the hilltop youth regarding Sippy Livney's unit she created the National Crimes Unit which is you know <laughs> uh, she wanted to uh, you know kind of make a uh, like like a scale because there's so much Arab terrorism that she needed to create some fabrication of you know Israel Israel Jewish terrorism uh, you know so she could promote this Hellenistic process that she is are basically a part of and you know some days it be some days it be Libni let me just say to you some days it be Libni the truth will come out just like Ehud Omert and all the others that have been jailed in this country okay someday the truth will come out the money will come out somebody will talk who knows the trail who knows where the bribes that you have taken have gone and you'll be in jail and I, I, I wait that day even if it takes 10 15 20 years I'm waiting. I got time. We'll see the truth come out against you. And of course, against another gentleman here who's the head of that unit. Okay, his name is Udi Levy. And Udi, same goes uh, to you, my friend. You will be exposed. Okay? You will be exposed as a traitor. And I will be outside the courthouse. I will have a barbecue on the day you are sentenced. Okay, so let me go through the article. And then I'll probably make a part two video uh, regarding some commentary. Okay, op-ed, the credo of the hilltop youth. The credo of the hilltop youth is expressed in this article, whose subject is the undercover police operation at Kochav HaShachar. That's right next to Duma. I'll, I'll, I'll just leave this one commentary. Just look at Kochav HaShachar or Google Duma on a Google map and you'll see. Okay, the story of Eldad Salah, an IDF soldier who has been jailed for allegedly spying on for the hilltop youth. Now, Mayor Ettinger is a Jewish activist. He's the grandson of Rabbi Mayor Kahana. He's basically the son of Tova uh, Kahana, who is now you know, married to Ettinger. So, uh, and it's Mayor Ettinger. Uh, Rabbi Kahana, whose blood may be, uh, should be avenged, and the unofficial leader of the Hilltop Youth, Mayor Ettinger, he sent this article to Eretz Sheva, and we present it here to its readers so its opinion can be heard. The Nationalistic Crimes Unit was created three years ago by Zippy Livni. And it was graced with a huge budget. Its purpose was to eradicate nationalistic crimes, i.e. actions of what are known as Jewish rebels, who for their part feel that they are acting to prevent the further deterioration of the state of Israel. The officials in this unit harass those they suspect and try to put as many as possible behind bars, they claim repeated, repeatedly and inaccurately that the Jewish activists hinder them from focusing on the major security problems on which they would prefer to focus, but it is they who decide to expend their energies this way. Heading Zippy Livni's unit is the man who prefers to remain behind the scenes, but who must be exposed in order that we recognize what the face of what we see as the modern day Jewish Jewish self hatred is like. His name is Udi Levy. A man who has dedicated the last fifteen years, folks, of his life to fighting Jewish settlements in the land of Israel and protecting our enemies. Now of course I like to say villages, but it says here out settlements. Jewish villages. Many prefer to believe that the police and the Israeli security services do not really want to fight Israel's own youth 
and that the expulsions, harassments, and arrests are done unwillingly for the good of the public. But two recent episodes that the, that the, of the IDF's Corporal Elad Selah, the soldier from Bataillon, accused of spying for revealing information the Jewish settlers, and also spying, it was in quotes, and tellingly the undercover operation in Kochav Hashachar, where police pretended to be Arabs encroaching on the town in order to provoke Jewish residents to confront them. It should serve as a lesson. It is evidence of how much energy and effort the security services exert in order to thwart the desire to expand the settlement movement. Settlement movement. Incredible resources are also utilized to eliminate any effort that may encourage stronger responses to spilled Jewish blood. For several years, there has been an unspoken agreement between Jewish residents and the security services. The authorities would ignore new construction in Judea and Samaria as long as the Jewish protests after terror attacks were muted. Unfortunately, most Jewish residents have not yet noticed that the rules of the game have changed, and this is why they're going against Mayer, because he's letting people know what the story is. The rules of the game have changed, folks. The establishment has made the hilltop youth, the Jewish settlers, their major focus, escalating their actions to the point where it is a war engaged for our very survival. This is why officials found it proper to destroy the Chazon David Synagogue near Hebron on the same night Arabs perpetrated two terror attacks. It is also the reason they felt that the correct response to run over, run over murderer of Shalom Cherki uh, in Jerusalem by an Arab driver was to promote the Jew, was to provoke the Jews in Kohav Hashachar and then arrest them on the spot. And there's the story of Elad Selah. While this is not the first time a Jew has been accused of spying on behalf of the settlements, it is the first time security services have explicitly defined the Jewish hilltop settlers as the enemy. This was done matter-of-factly, without an any uproar, as if declaring part of the Jewish population in Israel as an enemy is a light manner. The fact that the security services have been acting for a long time as if the main enemy of the state of Israel is Jewish children who move to the hills of Judea and Samaria, the hilltop youth, that helping these youngsters is akin to treason. And I help them any way I can, folks. Any way I can. And anyone out there, help these boys any way you can. It seems as though their raison d'etre is to fight against us, Jews who dare to aspire for a true Jewish state. The situation has become so dire that the security services leave no stone unturned to seek out such people. As part of their efforts, they meticulously plan on how to prevent Jews from settling unauthorized hilltops. They go from hilltop to hilltop, threatening new towns that they will destroy their homes unless they receive the proper paperwork from the civil administration and the regional councils. When a Jew's blood is spilled in a terror attack, they go from yeshiva to yeshiva, town to town, to ensure there will be no response, other than an op-ed column by a family member. A pure and righteous Jew is sitting in jail for helping his fellow righteous Jews. And he was talking about Elad, Elad Selah in this article, but now he's sitting in jail too. Has, has the Israeli establishment declared war on all idealists who dream and strive for the Jewish redemption? Those who condemn, who condemn Eled Selah and those who condemn the radical Jews he helped are explicitly helping in this war against the holy Jews. One day following the murder of Shalom uh, Cherki, Udi Levi decided that it was time to fight what he, see, he seems to feel is the real enemy. A police officer dressed as an Arab shepherd, along with an actual Arab shepherd, approached the hills of Male Shlomo and began screaming and cursing, 
in hopes of provoking Jewish residents to respond. Waiting to catch the resident in the act were dozens of police hiding a few hundred meters away. This is entrapment, folks. Entrapment. Okay? Udi Levy is an entrapper. Just like his uh, buddy in the Shabak, uh, Carney. Carney Gillon. Carmi Gillon. What exactly did the police expect the Jews to do when they saw Arabs approaching their town? Call the police from the National, <laughs> National Crimes Unit? He's saying, what should we do? Call Zippy Livni's uh, people? Udi? We should call him? When he was there? Provoking us and trapping us? We can expect the police to chase the Arabs away <laughs> when it is they themselves that brought them into the area. They took a shepherd, an Arab shepherd, with his flock. They came dressed as shepherds also. This is an operation against Jews, friends. An operation against Jews by other Jews. Okay. Remember, Arabs scope out towns before plotting a terror attack, as was the case with the Fogel family. Obviously, Jewish residents will protect themselves and chase away Arab encroachers in any case. This is an unconscionable plot led by led to the arrests of five Jews for attacking the Arab shepherd. Though it may be clear that the vast majority of the nation, that the land of Israel belongs to the Jewish people, to the police, the security services, and the courts, sometimes one cannot help feeling that the opposite is clear. Can it be that the police couldn't care less if an Arab seems to be threatening the lives of Jewish residents? They don't care less, folks. Even with the three boys that you'll see on my wall over there. Okay? The three boys. You see that right on the top next to the 10th Memorial? Right next to the Memorial. See those three boys? They called the police. Okay? In the car when they were entrapped. Okay? And in the car. They were in the car pleading for their lives, telling the police they'd been kidnapped. And the police thought it was a prank call. Or they at least said they thought it was a prank call. What they probably thought was... We need to go to Krispy Kreme, okay, or Oladin, and get our donuts. So, uh, you know, we're not going to bother uh, even uh, responding to this call, and we'll just write it down that we think it's a prank call so they can cut, you know, CYA, as we say in uh, English. Okay. Okay, so we can see the police couldn't care less if Arabs seem to be threatening the lives of Jewish residents. What the town of Kohav HaShachar considers despicable provocations, the courts view as an appropriate policy. What is the answer? The unit has declared us the enemy, preventing us from settling new hilltops and arresting us for defending ourselves. Must we give up on our dreams, give up on settling the land? Must we walk around in bulletproof vests since we are not allowed to protect ourselves and we cannot rely on the police? And I'll go even further, friends. Now, I, I should do a video down. I should walk around and do a video down by um, by Tzomet Tepuach and all the other uh, places in this country. They put barricades, concrete barriers, you know, basically preventing the Jews from, you know, free movement. And they say, so, you know, we should stand behind the barriers um, for protection when, you know, this is an inadequate way. Everybody knows that, you know, defense uh, is not a way to prevent uh, attacks. Arabs only understand one thing. It's the truth. For 14, 1500 years. Okay, must we ponder carefully the recent events to understand why the state is so frightened of what they term nationalist crimes? How is it that despite the fact that we want the best for our fellow Jews, we are somehow considered the enemy. There is much to write in regards to this question, yet I would like to reflect on the arrest of El Elad Selah and hopefully also answer some of the above questions. Now, I, 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 there's about another uh, page here of, uh, and I'm going to run out of time to do it, so I'll do a part two of this video and just understand that um, they don't like Mayor Ettinger because he puts his finger right on the pulse Okay, right on the pulse, he puts his finger. And they don't like it. But we like it. And we understand it. And I ask everyone out there to write on Mayor's behalf. 
to the Knesset members, you can do it. 